Now that our turret is firmly sitting on the ground and it's actually big enough to be a threat for us, we will add some particle effects to function as the fire that will come out of the barrels. To do this, go to uh, Game Object, Create Other, and then Particle System. Now as you can see, it creates something that is generating little dots in the world. Let me uh, move around here because it's inside of the turret and I don't really want that right now, so let's move it forward just a little bit. As you can see, there is indeed an ellipse or a ball of particles going on here. Now, we'll need to change and tweak all these parameters to actually function as the fire that we need. Okay, now first, let's change the color of these particles to actually look like fire instead of being white. Okay and that is done in our particle animator. Now notice here that this particle system has three main components attached to it. The first one is the ellipsoid particle emitter. Now this is what is parking the particles so all these variables here have to do with emitting the particle. However if we want to move them around in 3D space it is best to use the particle animator and this animates the particles over time as well as their color. And then last but not least there's our particle renderer and we can tweak how the particles are displayed on the screen using our renderer. So these are three different things and sometimes you get overwhelmed with all the options. For example you can even make particles move in the emitter but it is a headache to do so it is a lot better to do that in the particle animator. Alright, now that we have that, let's start and pick some colors. Now as you can see here, the colors in Unity are shown in these boxes and then underneath here you see this black line which is the transparency or opacity of this color. So to make fire I usually start with a reddish color and bring the opacity or alpha channel all the way up to be not very transparent and then as you can see there's already red ones being created inside the mix here. Let's add a little more orange one and make the alpha a little smaller than the other one so that there's a little bit of a cutoff. Third we'll go to a yellow and then have even less transparency something like this. Alright, fourth I'm going back to another red again just so that we add more red and right now it doesn't make sense because it looks like there's a lot of red already but as soon as we start stretching these particles to actually look like a fire beam coming out of the barrel you'll see that red will look a lot more aggressive than if we go even lighter into a white here but however let's bring the transparency down even further something like this and then last but not least add a white-ish color but almost entirely transparent. Alright, as you can see here there's a little bit of a stairway going on with the alpha. First it is just a little bit and then it gets transparent more gradually. That is how I usually shape my particle effects. Alright, next we want our particles to auto-destruct. They will die by themselves. And then before we start animating its actual position, let's go up to the actual emitter and because this ball is very big now and we only want it to be this small as the size of a barrel so let's start changing the ellipsoid down here all right now right now it's set to one meter and of course one meter is pretty large so let's change this to for example 0 0.15 for all of these three all right that looks a lot better and as you can see we have a little ball going on. Now if you want to see exactly what your particles looks like it is easier to just deselect it and you can see what it's doing. All right. Now to position it exactly in front of the barrel of our turret, let's move it. And let's see from the side as well. Zoom in a little bit to see if we're correctly in the middle up just a tad. I'm usually a little picky about this type of stuff. Alright that's looking pretty fiery already. 
maybe up even more just a tad let's see it from the front there we go all right perfect that should do the trick